So you guys are in the pit. You guys entered uh, under the pretenses of freeing a couple individuals. Ooh, and I've got them over here. Yes, I do. Aha. Uh -huh. Who needed that? <laughs> so uh, your character, do you want to introduce who your character is and who you play? Yes, I play Merslek, and he is a human commando soldier, commando soldier lieutenant in the Imperial uh, of the of the Imperial of the of the Imperial Force Keep the you Alliance. Alliance in the Imp in the Empire. In okay. the Empire. Okay. Yeah. Uh, God, yeah. is Elite. it starting already? <laughs> it's not your first language. Says you're all jerks. <laughs> <laughs> is he watching from the from the, the Uber? Lift? Yeah, the Uber. Probably. Weird. Yeah. Tell him, tell him, just, Get hey, Drew. already. <laughs> I pants him, I pants him, where's the dice? <laughs> I don't know, uh, um, I've got them all over here. So, okay, so Mer, so we established yeah. you're kind of a lieutenant, you're a high-ranking imperial high -ranking officer. I'm a high-ranking imperial officer. But um, you, you recently, oh, no, go on, tell no, me. No, I had to, I had to recruit a band of rebel, rebel forces to uh, help me rescue my dear wife. Merslek is a man, by the way. Merc uh, has a wife, Tamaya, who, he had to imprison, but now he's uh, <laughs> going to get her out. Just like Gone with the Wind. Doesn't a, sound good when you put it like that. Yeah. I, I, I have to imprison my wife. Oh, I gotta wife. imprison my wife. Um, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, and Merce had to do it. And we actually played through that whole. Uh, this character of yours, Tamaya. Tamaya was Amy's other character in our previous game, episode yeah. two, Saving Life Day. Saving that life was day. before we started. Uh, casting, twitching, but you can just find all those episodes mm -hmm. on iTunes under Never Tell Me the Odds mm -hmm. or on our website, Never Tell Me the Odds. Uh, no, wait, what is our website? Couldn't get that one. Star Wars St RPG Podcast. Yeah, that's wow. right. Star Wars that's RPG Star Wars. Podcast. Okay. No, that one I could get. That was Star Wars RPG Podcast.com. You could also wait until George Lucas probably remakes them and adds a bunch of Gungans or something. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> I'm yeah. sure that's. That sounds like better to me. Um, so that's right. So you're trying to save Tamaya, who is this Tamaya. this beauty right here? Oh, she's she's. Giraf, can you can you oh, place that in front boom. of our dice can? Really pretty lady. Oh, ba, ba, a young one. Merce yeah. likes a man. Is Merce about the same age as Tamaya? Because Merce um, was. Merce is a little older. Yeah. Merce is freshly out of college. No, Tamaya. No. Oh, Tamaya is freshly out of college. Yeah, Tamaya is freshly out of college. Merce is a lieutenant in the Empire yeah. with a ship under he his did, command. He did he did rise quickly because of his father, General E. Luck, trick. Yeah, is it a hyphen? <laughs> is it a hyphenate? Is that uh, what it is? It, I I think it's General E. Is his middle name General? General or like his first name or it's yeah, initial it goes by that, the initial. Yeah, like J K. Rowling. It's okay. e, General E. And then Luck is obviously, and then it's uh, a dash. It's a hyphen. Okay, it's a hyphen. Luck trick. <laughs> right. Okay. I thought you were Merce Lex. Merce Lex. Merce Lex. So, Merce so Lex. Lex. E Lex. Yeah, we really had to work to fit that in there after the pun was created, yeah. but we did it! So. Yes, and it works, and it works so well. Thanks. I'm glad we, we, yeah, did, I'm really we had glad that. We did. All right, so Tamaya is currently imprisoned on, or so you guys thought, we'll get into where she actually is now, oh. down here on the absolute lowest, highest security levels of the pit, so far below the ground, no getting her out. Uh, on your way in, the first guy you saved was this little fellow, he's a Chadrafan. Quintel! Quintel. Quintel. This is what he looks like. Okay, bye, David. I haven't heard from Cameron at all, but I'm, I bet he would love to know that his character is like... Yeah, does Cameron know that he was featured in this last episode? Yeah, I've actually been in touch with the, uh, Cameron. I tried to get him in on that episode, but he had a, uh, oh. a scheduling conflict oh, to play I'm himself. Attention, so I'm just going to do this. But he, does he love it? Yeah, does that show up? Oh, surely he does. I didn't, I didn't follow up for feedback on oh. how my voice went. But it's pretty good. I bet he loves it. He's got a recurring character. Ooh, Amy, we have a BSB Care is a is BSB watching. Care. BSB Care. And has donated a wild force. Oh, uh, lowers Amy's wild force. Oh my God, search. we have never that's true, launched yeah. this. That's this never is come great. up. He lowers it by five. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. I know what to so do. So that makes that. it far more likely to trigger. Yeah, we're gonna trigger some shit. Also, it now triggers. He also triggers. Ooh. He also is triggering one character's obligation. Oh. On top of what already was mm -hmm. going to be triggered. So I'm going to keep that up my sleeve for a minute. Okay. And we'll see how that goes. So we got. All right. So Quintel, you guys actually found and rescued. Two, three, four. Five. I think he's hanging out. Or is he with you guys? No, I think he's just chilling out up top. I don't remember him 
chased them down. I don't remember. I wasn't there. Wait, what happened? You should remember. I what should did we do? Quintel. Yeah. I think he's, is he uh, with us? He's with us. Yeah, he's with us. He's hanging out okay. with you guys. He sure is. He's, he's, okay. yeah. So you guys found Quintel. We did split the party, though. So I don't know. I forgot what, who went with who. We'll oh. just say Quintel is, is holding down the fort up top, and he's going to help you guys when okay. you all get together. Okay. So he's like, he's, he's keeping this access hatch open for you guys. Um, you guys came across this whole open work floor, encountered a trio of uh, prisoners who are also patsies, basically. They work for the Imperials and, you know, right. kind of the, the floor bosses. Scorpion Brothers. The Scorpion Brothers. Beat the crap out of them. Quintel, you rescue. He shows you an access panel, gets you into the central shaft, lets you bypass most of the pit. You guys get to the lowest level, get down there, and then this is the point where I think you guys split the party. Yeah, we split the party. Oh, that's right. Um, you were going to stop an execution, and yeah. then the other two were freeing the Jedi. Yes. The other two were going to. I think it was. Uh, I forgot Faith's character and, and Re. 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 Dak. Re and Dak were going to go free the Jedi, and then me and the score. No, it was Gippy. Gippy and Re went to free the Jedi. Yep. Yeah, Dak and Gippy. Me and Dak. Yeah. Dak and I. Dak and I, grammar, Dak and I. please. Dak so, okay, and I. so I guess we'll go ahead and we'll put Quintel. So oh my god, he was this beautiful man. So you guys got down there. <laughs> Here's something I've noticed. I'm going to share this with you guys in a second. <laughs> I'll just throw some of these up for right now. Is it, who, is, who are these people? I'll introduce them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, other characters we have that you guys are trying to rescue. This is all four that you guys are trying to save. Um, I'm going to intro them. I'm going to intro them for all of you guys once we can show you on the dice cam. I think that will be better. Okay. So for now, we'll just know that uh, you've got these guys there. Ooh, is it my other players are showing up? No, so it's Oh, oh, I don't know if anyone's here. No, not yet. Oh. Okay. Dom, is there a way for you to cut to dice cam, or is a signal there I can is. give you? Yes, there's a, it's a little, it's a little off. The dice cam's right there. I can fix it, because we can see it. Is there a way? I want to show uh, show people our, some of our characters. For now. So if I put him in there, why don't you go and put Tamaya in there as well? Bring this closer. The problem is, is that the camera... Awesome, we got it. Put that one in there. Sweet. Okay. Quintel, the little Chadra Fan, who you guys should be able to see on Dice Cam right now. He was a uh, mechanic, worked with you guys episode two, captured up on the upper level. He helped you get into the access hatch. Tamaya's on there now as well. It turns by itself, yeah. Tamaya is the lady who caused all this to happen, Merce's secret wife and a rebel. Could you put this one over there? Yes. Next up, we have Bosley. Bosley is on the highest security level. He's down there in the wait, very wait, wait, bottom. Wait, wait, no, no, he already moved it. He, it's just delayed. Yeah. Yeah. It's not delayed on his side, though. Oh, it's not delayed. Okay. Okay. It is a little bit delayed. So uh, that's Bosley. Garov, Bosley was your old character. Can yes. you tell us about that? Yes, that was my old character from the last episode who uh, was one of the chief engineers on the Death Star laser. So he feels really guilty about killing all those people on his home planet of Alderaan. And now he's in prison. Hmm. Hopefully feeling even more guilty about it. Yeah, and so, uh, Bosley, you are still trapped, and we're going to open up as you get out. Uh, the last guy that you guys have been trying to save from episode two <laughs> is this guy. A uh, assassin droid by the name of P9L, technically a bodyguard droid who was assigned to protect Tamaya. However, Tamaya ended up, uh, well, P9L ended up getting his mind wiped in our final session. And all you know is he's somewhere in the prison complex, but you don't know where. But Quintel saved his um, personality. Oh, did he? Right? He definitely took it out. Oh, he took it out. Well, we don't know if, if it. Oh, it'd be great if he had it still. That would be extremely would be helpful. Cool. In fact, yeah. And in fact, if you said he does, then maybe he does. Okay, so, <laughs> cool. I like it. So the, all of this is great. This is your reason to get into this prison and save these guys. However... There's also one other rider on all of this, and that's that you've got a you've got a rebel liaison, Merce, who's like yes. awesome. Let's uh, great, we'll help you get off this prison planet. There's really no way in or out, um, but we, we're only going to do that on one condition, and that's if you rescue this 
Jedi Knight. His name is Iron oh, Gan. Iron Gan. He served us faithfully. He was one of the founding members of the Rebellion um, until about 10 years ago when the Empire captured him. And he has been imprisoned on the lowest depths of this pit for so many years. We've been trying to get him off. We've never had a chance before until now. If you can rescue him, played by Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. He is so beautiful. He's so pretty. This yeah. man, though, so like his face is absolutely perfect. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's looking pretty good. I actually want to share the rest of the members of your party with you guys. As I was uh, printing out some more of these little character emblems to show where everybody's at. Okay. Other members played by Drew. This is Dak Stryker. Yeah, it is. You go ahead and put Dak Stryker over there. It's kind of a slightly chubby. You want to tape him like here in front Dameron. of us? So that whenever the camera comes to us, they can see who it is. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. They're going to go up on the map. Oh, they're going up on the map. Oh, okay. One. Yeah. Just throw them in there, okay, and then uh, thank you. this thing is getting crowded. Yeah. Well, go ahead and take out the other guys then. Cool. Let's show just the new characters then at this point. All right, Dax Striker. Dax Striker. Oh, I Dak. hope. I hope Merc Striker. The looks Empire's Striker. Empire's currently. answer to Poe Dameron. Currently not hot, wearing pants. Hotshot Tie Fighting Pilot. That's right, because because he got pants so hard. He got pants. He got pants. No pants on. Okay. Uh, we also have this guy Merc. Who I believe you described as looking a bit like Brendan Fraser. Yeah! Oh, and these and this hair. <laughs> that hair. Great. That's Hitler yeah. hair. Yeah. No, it's beautiful hair. It's nice floppy hair. Oh, nice so into this group oh, no. of Poe Dameron. Like these are our fucking cast is so gorgeous. Well, don't forget, don't forget Garov's current character. Uh, I'm the prettiest one here. There we go. Clearly. Watto, the fucking Toydarian. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. So I was just, as I was printing out all those characters, like these are, this is a collection of some of the most handsome men who've ever lived. <laughs> like, Plus, if not, like a, a pot-bellied, yeah. elephant-nosed flying bug. And he's charming as shit. Yeah, who's by charming. far the most charming yeah, one so in the party. Charming. Yeah. <laughs> he's got that disarming smile. Yes, a force of personality. Yeah. God, but like, I'm, I I can see the screen. And I love it. <laughs> so this is this is our cast currently. So, uh, in fact, let's go back to Dice Cam. All of the following characters are all currently together on the lowest uh, level of the pit, the high security wards. Merce, played by Brendan Fraser. Yes. Tom Where, Hardy. Where's Ree? Oh, Ree. I'm sorry, I can't forget Ree. There was one more. I know. This is not intended to be sexist, but it's going to be. So her picture is a quarter of the size of everybody else. <laughs> Classic Hollywood. I know, isn't it? I know, and I love the diversity of our cast too. I'll just hold it closer to the camera. The bunch of white, white men, we'll white fix it beautiful in post. men. Although Ooh. we'll fix it live. Oh, again. Let's see if this fixes it. If I just put yes, it here. great idea. Fix it in post. Good job. Man, fixing it live. God, our stream looks so fucking cool. We're so cool. No, because it is. Oh, look at our snacks. Yeah, totally. Yes, you fixed it. Yes, I did it. I did it. Oh yeah, there's Re. So that's Re. Re is a Rodian bounty hunter, blonde oh, yeah, hair. Not the same size, <laughs> isn't it? Forced perspective. Blue eyes. She's good. Uh, she <laughs> has her Just own. So hot. She has her own motivation <laughs> to be here, uh, which she revealed last time was that uh, her lover. Yes. Uh, was imprisoned here by the Imperials in order to force her to uh, assassinate on their behalf, basically. Mm -hmm. She recently found out that her lover has been killed by the warden of this very prison, and she's on her way to get some revenge. That's right. Yep. So that's the recap. Uh, I guess. Double the pleasure, <coughs> double the fun. Oh, yeah. Woo! Great. Oh, yeah. All right, I guess Woo! we better get into it. So um, can you hand me all those guys? We already did the crawl, right, Dom? Uh, no, we just went straight. Okay, do you want to jump to the crawl really quick? No, nope. <laughs> the crawl is not set up. Oh, <laughs> uh, good. Sorry. Fuck. That's okay. Fuck the crawl. Fuck the crawl. Fuck the crawl. Who, who made that fucking crawl? Anyway? Yeah. Yeah, no what? one. I don't think anyone really likes what the crawl. What dumb idiot. Uh, no one re more no importantly, time. no one really likes the person who made no, the crawl. I was going to ask you about one. that. Yeah, I've been. Uh, this beer's been sitting in front of me capped for the last hour. I have no idea. It's probably warm now. Drew has a. Drew has a. I know. We can use I this table, right, Dom? This is fine? No. <laughs> 
Okay, I can actually get these things. I would never. Chat. So the first thing, if you can donate $5, we can buy a beer opener to open some of these fucking bottles. Otherwise, we're going to die. I have no idea. Does anyone know the trick with like a key or a thing? I can do it with a key. All right. I can do it with the edge of one of the yeah, less liked tables in the room. The other thing is we're we're trying to hit we're trying to raise some money tonight. Oh, we're talk trying to raise money. That, Gotta pay yeah. the rent. So you can donate to this stream. Um, there are if you just put exclamation point donations, you'll find out all the many ways you can help donate. We already had BSB Care donate to reduce. Really oh, sorry. <laughs> to reduce, I get so distracted. Everything, there's a lot happening. It, this is so much more happening on this side than ever has been happening before in my life. So I'm, I'm super distracted. But yeah, BSB Care already donated to Lower Mercer's uh, Wild Force pool, and um, you can donate to give us re rolls and add. Oh man, I guess not inspiration. Oh, what are they called? Boost die. Yeah. Um, you can help him out, which yeah. don't, but I'm like. My chance cubes, no. Oh, yeah, your um, chance cubes. Amy, do you see any paper towels over there? I could use some. Oh, Damn. good question. And what we're trying to get to $1,000 in, in 26 hours, Dom? What's that? Are we trying to get to $1,000 uh, in 26 hours? $26,000 in 26 hours? Did I, what is? Yes, why not? Well, what <laughs> it, hold on. What is our goal? $1,000. $1,000 in 26 hours. You guys, we can totally do that. 8.3%. Okay. Easy. Okay. Does anyone have paper towels? Uh, they're totally from upstairs. Sadly. I'll go grab some. Where'd you Thank open your you. beer? Oh. <laughs> My key. Did you spill? A little foam, but it's, uh, oh. it's okay. I threw a thing down. Star foam. So, uh, what I want to do here, I'm going to start positioning people on this map. Okay. Uh, what I want to start with, however, is... Parting the veil of reality. Is everyone ready? Is everyone mic'd in? Yep. Are we present in this room? Yeah. Amy, are you good? Well, I hate to break it to you guys, we are not here at all. <gasps> there is no room. This is not Southern California. We're not even on Earth. What? It all vanishes into black space. <sighs> Stars all above us that we are passing through at an incredible speed <laughs> as we tear through the very... <laughs> hey! 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 Get over here, mic your asses up. You're right there. This side, this side. Oh, well, hang on, then I will extend the parting of the veil. Zooming through space at an incredible speed, entering a distant galaxy long, long ago. Ooh, far, far away. Far, 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 long, long ago, yeah. far, far away. Right, long time ago, but who cares? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> if only we had a crawl. We zoom. <laughs> We zoom in, zoom in on a single planet orbiting a distant, dim, dying star. Just this dwarf star in this abandoned part of the galaxy. A single planet orbiting it at a far distance, completely gray except at the poles, which are barren. And it shows the Earth beneath, which is just scoured, completely scoured by this thick mantle of clouds that enrobes the planet. And from beneath this massive mantle of clouds, you can see the red light of hellish energy kind of beaming through the cracks here and there. And as you tear downwards through this storm, through the raging winds, past enormous towering hurricanes, you suddenly emerge into a, a vast pit which has been torn into the earth itself as if, uh, as if a madman was scrabbling at hard earth with his, with his bleeding fingers Jeez. and has, has torn away this huge gap in the surface, exposing the heart of the planet, the magma of the core, the pit, the very center of all of this, the Empire's highest security, never been escaped from, maximum security prison, where they send the worst of the worst. Those people that they don't want dead, they want worse than dead, they want them broken, completely broken, so that they will come crawling on their knees to the Emperor and kiss his hand, and the Emperor can simply, you know, deny them and bat them away. And that would make the Emperor's mourning. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's the purpose that uh, Warden Carnavan mm. has dedicated his life to, and he's better at it than anyone has ever done. You guys find yourselves at the absolute lowest level of the pit. Deep, deep down. God. The good news is... It's so hot. <laughs> Amy can't focus. Reveal. 
Are you talking about Brendan Fraser, Tom Hardy? Which uh, one? Yes. <gasps> Grango. <laughs> he's kind of cute. Look at him. Yeah, that's about where that compliment stops. Mm. He's kind of cute. Kinda. Mm. <laughs> the good news is that you guys have just found Iron Gan, a Jedi, a Jedi Knight who spent the last 10 years in a darkened cell. And by the looks of him, as he emerges, and I part the veil of reality, you guys smell that recycled air. You guys feel the weight of a thousand tons of steel in a field of lava above you. And ding, two elevator doors open and a Toydarian comes fluttering off of it. Yeah. Completely confused. Oh, it's Drew. Drew's here. I pulled my pants up. Uh, <laughs> roll for it. <laughs> yeah. You were watching How many? fucking. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, thanks for making it. I know you guys have one hell of a shitty commute. Uh, oh, so no, thank town. you for being patient. I'm yes. sorry. It's okay. Don't I'm, you made your like It's yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah, and by the way, your characters were pants, so there's no problem. Oh, no, he was. He was pants. Back up. He, he put, did pull your pants back up. You have to pull your pants back up. I also, no, my that's skin is impervious <laughs> to mark. The correct answer. Yeah. You come from an alien race of, you can't write dicks on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I did, oh, okay. Come from an alien sub race that, that well, isn't. Um, we tried, we tried. Yes. <laughs> actually, I revealed in chat that uh, my dark secret is actually, Zach is a Gungan who's had surgery. Oh. You're human. Go I had a it. secret Gungan in one of my games. A he, secret Gungan. Yeah, he, so fucking depressing. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, that's, sorry, Ree. I, uh, <laughs> they, I love Ree it. got printed out at a quarter the size of all the oh, men. Oh, that's fine. All the men. Oh, to, reflect, yeah. to reflect the differences Super, in pay absolutely. in the Star Wars universe. So that's a statement. Even the even the Toydarian is... Beautiful. Is, is, uh, lovely. Uh, printed out bigger is what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> also, I brought some lovely IPA, if anyone... Oh! So this one is a true punishment beer. This one is uh, habanero. Can I smell it? What? what? Uh, no, I had a sriracha beer once and it was not oh, good. Oh, but it smells, it it smells great. This is really good. It's yeah. the best IPA and it Drew, just is a little hot. Drew, you're going to be delighted to find out that I bought uh, 12 intense IPAs from the good folks at New Belgium. Hell They're all yeah. in that fridge behind you. Oh, yeah. man. That's even better news. Now we're drinking up already. Cheers. Cheers. So now that we've done our proper parting the veils of reality, we should mention that this game, of course, operates on drinking rules. Yay, drinking rules. Three drinking so, so. rules are in effect at all times. One, if you make a die roll and there's any uncanceled threat, you have to take that many drinks. Yeah, it's not so bad. Two, if you flip over a light side point uh, in order to augment your roll or whatever, everyone at the table has to take a little drink. That's just the cost of doing that. Three, if you ever roll despair, you have to finish your entire drink, however much you have left. Oh, that's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, or whatever you know makes sense to us adults who are at the table. <laughs> yeah, okay, because we're not we're not in college anymore. Terrifying. Yeah. We can set our own rules for when we're getting drunk. But that's the if you want to play along at home, those are the rules. Um, ding, ding. Lift the doors ding. open on the final lowest level, and Grango comes walking out, fluttering out. Uh, fluttering. Yeah. Fluttering out. Okay, how does Grango look? That's a really good question. Last time we left Grango off uh, was oh boy, what did was, you guys do to me? Two miles up above where you guys currently yeah. are, mm -hmm. the rest of the party went and got on this turbo lift with the vice warden. Vice warden, Ramses. <laughs> I got notes uh, on that. He's a Nicholas Cage, yeah. played by Nicholas right. Cage. You got yeah. notes? I forgot he's got to have like a a little bit higher pitched. I think I had a yeah, that no, that's, that's pretty good. You think it's better going low yeah. instead I mean, of being like? I think like... there are ranges for Nicholas Cage. That's yeah. true, he's yeah. not just one thing. I think you he's always yeah, yeah. He's exactly. <laughs> he's tormented in a high pitch and tormented in a low pitch. Yes, he's just mm -hmm. tormented. Yeah, but that's, that's true. The, that Whatever is you're the feeling. Common denominator. You guys uh, screwed him over pretty good. Took <laughs> all of his <laughs> access passes, but unfortunately, Grango as a kind of. Uh, alien that they didn't like the looks of got dragged off to the interrogation chambers by some of the warden's men where he was going to be forced into the very interrogation uh, chair that Gippy Bindu had just been um, enjoying himself. It was so upon. moist. Yes. Yeah, a lot of secretions. Mm. Uh, so we, we can cut back to that and they've got the ball gag in your mouth, uh, which is also still uh, moist. Oh, uh, it's like shrimpy. Pull that one out with like a <laughs> out of your mouth, comes nice. out there, a couple strands of saliva. 
All right, get him in the chair. Get him in the chair. No, and, no, please, anything but the chair. It's so moist. That's when he starts talking. Um, so why don't you go ahead and give me a uh, some sort of charisma or deception or charm check? I'll give you some charm, yeah. Great. So that's going to be opposed by five purple because you're talking your way out of an interrogation room. You're going to succeed on this regardless. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. We need some force. We need some force points. Oh yeah, we need not force. for this one. I just okay, want cool. to have this one be straight. Okay. Um, so I'm going to give you five purple on this. If you succeed Whoa. on it, you come out looking. You come out of this lift looking pretty good. You talked your way out. If you're going to fail on this one, we're going to see how much they roughed you over before you finally manage to convince them to, All right. to let you go. Five purple. Use the force. I don't believe in the force. I doesn't believe in you either. Ooh. What were you rolling that against, by the way? Uh, that was five purple against... Two green and one yellow. No, I thought you said you just leveled up your character a little bit. I did. So right. that used to be three green. All right. we'll give you okay. That. All right. So, but it would remove a setback die if you give me any. Oh, so uh, only. Not in this case. Okay. Yeah, not right. in this case. It's like but only three failures, but no, no, nothing, nothing else. No, nothing. Just a flat fail. No, nothing fail. else. Just three. Uh, one spurn. I'm gonna use second chances. Reroll two of the dice. What is second chance? You're going to use that on this thing right now? Because you'll have succeeded on this check anyway. This is just oh. to see how badly roughed up you Oh, look. okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Then. So how much did you fail here? By only, th only three. Three three failure. Any threat? Flat. No threat. No threat. Flat okay. failure. So yes. you come yeah. off this lift. You take three uh, wound. Three no, wound? Don't okay. apply Don't apply yourself to that. Got it. That was so we were up there, and you start talking. And you're going, no, get in this chair. We're, very, we're going to get everything we know out of you. Yeah. And you go, no, no. This, you, somebody doesn't understand no. anything. Slapping you around and then screen wipe to them being like, oh, terribly sorry about that. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, I can't believe we made that mistake with the <laughs> prime minister of... Where, what planet? The Prime Minister of Corellia! I told oh you! Oh my god, I never thought he would look like that. Next time you come to Grango's Gambles, you will get a free lobster buffet. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be so good. Because I hate fish and I want to kill them all. Uh, uh, it all comes full circle. So, Grango, <laughs> bing, comes off of the lift at the lowest level. Nice sunglasses, sir. Nice sunglasses, indeed. Ooh, yeah. The rest of you, the rest of you, uh, well, actually, Gringo, you're going to make a decision. As you come off this oh. list, you turn left, you turn right. Do you look and see Merce and Dak, I believe, mm -hmm. going off to try and rescue Tamaya? Or do you look to the right and see Re, Gippy Bindu is not quite in sight, and uh, um, this Jedi Iron Knight. Gan. Yeah, you wouldn't necessarily know that that's Iron oh. Gan, but you see Tom Hardy looking <laughs> extremely roughed up, like closer to the end of Mad Max. Cool. Um, hair cropped very close. Still hot. Still yeah. so hot. He's got, he's, got like those, he's got like a scruffy, unkempt beard, but god damn, it just makes him look better. Unfortunately, he <laughs> talks like Bane. <laughs> no. 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 I'm the Iron Gun. It's a great Bane, Bane impression. Like. I don't remember that at all. He was talking about you, the you Bane from it. the animated series. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, which yeah. Bane were you thinking of? Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm pretty, I saw the Dark Knight Rises once. <laughs> yeah. Which, which way do you go? So. I will uh, meet up with Re. Make it uh, an even pair on each side. Okay, that's perfect. I think. Aliens got to stick together. Yep, nice Gross. and even. I mean it too. I guess, uh. we're all, I guess we're all aliens, technically. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm human. Yeah, way, like, to be, human? way to be human. I mean, human. You are but I mean, alien yeah. on this Everyone planet. Not Everyone who's not. Yeah. No, like okay. you're. That's no, a pretty no. human I don't think that's how that you. works. Uh, Everyone who's yeah. not a human is an alien. <laughs> that's very true. Oh yeah, that's that might be the that's definition, that's isn't it? Yeah. Uh, At least, yeah. Yeah. Debatable. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, are you speaking human? <laughs> so, so... Then you fucking alien. Okay, so quick thing I need first. Um, let's go and do a quick thing where we see who's obligation triggers. Cool. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, so, ah. let's uh, divvy it up as usual. 25, 25, 25, 25. Cool. So if you roll 25, we're all fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. 25, 50, 75 to 100. Um, Wait, what, wait, that's a 30 die, right? Don't worry about it, baby. I got it all figured out up here. That's what matters. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. What it land on? Natural 20. Natural, Natural 20. 20. Which means nothing on a 30 side of die. Yeah, what's here? So well, I was going to reroll anything above a 20, so I'm glad it came to that. So it would have been 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 15. 
I see. Uh, so. Oh. Obligation. Mm. Bing, bang, boom. Yeah. Well, 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 well. Which one? Both of them? Well, we're going to start with Gringo. Okay. Well, I mean, like, I have two obligations. Oh, okay. And what were those again? Would you like to explain? Wait, do you have another character? What? No, you could have more than one obligation. There. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We're not all simple people like you, Merce, okay? I don't well, know what that means. With ex-wives <laughs> and prison. Yeah, with, with going to prison. Ex-wives! Is there something about Tamaya that I don't know? Yeah, we made out in the interrogation room. <laughs> Gra I mean, Grango. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that grounds for divorce in space? Whoa, <laughs> wee, that is habanero. I know, yeah. I drink the wrong beer. <laughs> 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 beer I there. know. You saw the character coming to life. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so going, this guy's gonna be fun. Who's this? Yeah. I gotta chat. Wow, I gotta channel that one. David no. Habanero. No, that's no, it's very spicy. That's just how I speak, guys. Wow, <laughs> wow, wowie, zowie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry to bring it in. So, uh, <clears throat> what are your obligations? So I have uh, two obligation of high risk, which means I love taking big risks that will maybe have a big reward. The other one is a five, which is debt, which means I have a huge debt to pay and people will probably come after me because I haven't been paying it. Great, I like your high risk debt. So the first thing that's gonna happen is cool. you're gonna take two strain okay. as, um, well, I mean also you're just beaten up, but uh, yeah, you're gonna sure. take two strain from that. Uh, the rest of you guys, uh, do we wanna talk, let's just talk very briefly about what everyone else's obligation well, is. Uh, real quick, be, didn't BSB care buy? I'm gonna trigger someone else's obligation, so it's not gonna be yours. It's whatever he chooses. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna oh, trigger somebody else's. At an else's. opportune moment. Yeah. Um, Yes, and I think I know exactly what I'm going to do with that. Thank you, BSB Care. Thank you. Does everyone so else want to ah. briefly touch on whose obligation? Everyone else's obligation, so the audience can know and think about who am I going to screw over later. <laughs> My obligation is Mercer's obligation is um, blackmail. In fact, someone very important knows that Merce is married to Tamaya, the rebel, the rebel warrior, the rebel diplomat. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Uh, my obligation is uh, risk-taking. Uh, when my obligation triggers, uh, Dak does whatever I say when I say it, and uh, At the I, table. Don't get to I don't get to reconsider. So uh, I like that. You know, it's definitely going to happen, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to keep drinking until it's fun. <laughs> 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 to you, anyway. <laughs> It'll be, yeah. Uh, no. All right. Uh, and mine is uh, betrayal, mm. because someone here in this prison compound has deeply betrayed me by murdering my love. Wow. And, uh, what is her name again, by the way? Oh, I remember. She's a good name. Uh, you need to think about that, and I would say yeah. think up a couple details, because I'm going to come back to you in a second. Ew. Uh -oh. Okay. So, no. Gringo, as you come fluttering over towards Re and this other guy, <laughs> who you don't really recognize immediately. But are attracted to anyway. <laughs> I'm instantly attracted. So this is, again, lowest level. It's these very low-ceilinged, narrow corridors that just run straight. There's a lot of extruded metal struts. Everything is bland, gray. The, um, the flooring is this kind of like, um, it's like a grate. You know, very close metal slats together. And it does that like cling, clong, clong, cling, clong, whenever you're walking down it. Wait, wait, sorry, guys, can you guys, I don't know, I don't know if there's a way for you guys to like talk quieter or something, because I'm like listening to both conversations at once. Is, am I the only one? I might be the only one. A little, it was a little distracting. Yeah, yeah sorry. But I wasn't going to say anything about it. I know. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. I'm not a mean person. But just like, I mean, I don't know, I was, I don't know why I thought that, come, but I was like listening to their conversation. <laughs> yeah. Amy, you're mic'd. Well, I it's might. We're not. Yeah, but the I can't. The audience had no idea that was happening. Yeah, but I do. And I wasn't listening to David. No, thank fair you. Fair enough. Yeah. No, I to be fair, that. I never listened to David. Oh. Yeah, it's always good. No, okay, thank sorry. you. Yeah, that, it was a little bit distracting, but that's, that's fine. Thank okay. you, guys. OK. Um, so Gringo, right, as you come fluttering over to re, and you can see this other guy. They're doing something at a door, one of the doors. And it slides open, and uh, inside, uh, is our friend, you got Bosley over there? Uh, I put him all here. Oh, thank you. Bosley's in there? Yeah. That's, that's you from me last and me. time. Yeah. It's me and me. Poops. Me, myself, and I. Whoa. I'm much uglier as a human, though. There we go. Uh, comes, comes, uh, comes. <laughs> uh, going, uh, or whatever you would say, comes staggering out into the hallway. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, <know> that. <laughs> whoa. 
uh, what's happening? Uh, you look, Bosley looks pretty bad as well. You've been in sensory deprivation. Oh, I think, uh oh, that was Bosley. Yeah, that was Bosley? Yeah. Bosley looks pretty down. bad. Re! I found you! We have to get out of here! This oh. place is a death trap! And Boy. that's Bosley. So both your characters look really bad. Yeah. yeah they're both terrible. They're I'm both sorry. So, so they're both Gringo just became and best friends. And they want to leave immediately. If they touch each other, they're like time cop rules and they both turn into light and disappear. They turn into That's a big a monster. That's a very good question. <laughs> just like... Or they fall in love, Drew. <laughs> yeah, what does happen? Does Gringo and uh, oh. Gringo and Bosley make eye did? contact? Oh my god. <laughs> and we can have him do a sex scene with himself. <laughs> oh no, no, that's not happening. <laughs> that's that's not what happened. Oh, that could Someone happen. Someone make... could donate. There's 25 hours left. Come on, let's <laughs> down that aisle now. Yeah, uh, definitely donate to make that happen. No, don't do that. So, uh, uh, Bosley comes out. What was Bosley or what would Gringo think of Who are you Bosley? people? What, what's going on? Uh, I'm having terrible. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm actually wondering that myself. This is a uh, Iron Gan, the Jedi Knight. Oh, this is, this is real, isn't it? This is my Tom Tom Hardy voice. Oh, you're doing great. I was gonna say you're doing a good Tom Hardy. Just gotta make sure I throw my brow enough and look up a little bit. I thought bit. we were doing him as Bane, though. No, that was his oh. suggestion. That was. <laughs> I'm doing him as Mad Max, Shucks. or maybe the Revenant guy. I don't know. Oh, yeah. uh, <clears throat> I'm actually wondering that myself. Who, who are you? What are we? This is real, isn't it? My God, ten years, ten years in there. Uh, We're going to get out of here. We have to meet up with the other group. He's still not wearing a shirt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing just kind of like Mama. loose prison pants. Bosley looks is wearing the exact same thing, but does not look quite as cool <laughs> as Tom Hardy. Does. Just like Tom Hardy clearly worked out a little bit for this role, <laughs> uh, so like he does for every role. So he's looking quite fit. Um, his back is covered by a huge back tattoo. It looks like a um, an angular kind of Celtic knot thing, wow. but in dark blue. Ooh. And it's just like all the way down it. But um, scars are much more prominent know. all up his arms, across his chest, neck. Lots and lots, like tons of scars. This is who, Bosley? Oh, uh, no, sorry. This, this is Iron Gan. This is Iron Gan. Oh, Iron okay. Gan. Iron Gan. I can't believe this is real. This is who? Uh, uh, I'm Ree Moeen, and this is... It doesn't matter who I am. We have to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. You're Ree Moeen. Yes. <gasps> what? Uh, yeah. Do you know each other? Yeah. What is this? I'm not sure. Don't touch each other, this is weird. I know you, I, I know everything about you. I know that you have a scar on your left hand that you got when you fell down that hill when you were younger. I know the details of the rooms in your parents' house. This is I, weird. I know everything about you. Let's hear one of those details. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's. Your, your parents are from a beautiful red hill in Rhodia that overlooks the swamp jungles where the screaming hell beasts would throw themselves against the power walls every night and you used to <laughs> sit out there on the sit out there on the stoop on your father's knee and tell them that someday hyper stoop you would on <laughs> hyper stoop someday you would be out there hunting down the biggest and the baddest game in the galaxy I know all these things about you because you see I did. and then as he's, he's starting to get more and more animated and then all of a sudden he goes <laughs> And, and like you can see all the veins on his neck bulge out and all of his muscles start spasming and he drops to the ground um, and his, you can see with his beard kind of out of the way this bulky metal collar bolted tight around his neck and two red lights are going like Oh no! Yeah. They know he's can escaped. I, can I? Can I uh, and he drops, drops. God, if only we had a competent engineer that we had just rescued. Oh no! <laughs> hey, human, you know anything about this? Uh, I don't have my tools. Can I? I'll take a look at it. So, are you can gonna I? try and take? Yeah. A look? Well, can I try with mechanics? Yeah, I'm probably way out of it. So, yeah. Let's let her. Yeah, you you probably are. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna reach down and try to just disassemble whatever. Uh, try to sort out. We're gonna, gonna okay. Unlego it. Um, yeah. As you come up to him, he starts going, "No, don't, no, don't touch it. It's going to explode if it's taken off wrong." She's just touching your chest. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Where do I touch it? Where, where should I touch it? The only one way to get it off oh. is the, the warden has the key. 
Cut back to oh the warden. This side of the aisle, where two extremely handsome men drop well, back thank you. against the wall as laser fire comes zapping right, down the right. corridor past you. Oh yeah. Did you, did you think of um in a new hope when there's the prison break? Yes. You know that those prison quarters. Yeah. So there's these kind of struts that just barely cover you when you drop back into them. Okay, um, these are not stormtroopers who are firing at you. They're like regular um, Imperial naval personnel. So they're wearing just like the regular Nazi uniform and the little hat. Yeah. Um, but it's they a, all kind have, of a sexy hat. It's kind of, yeah, well, it's a sexy hat. Uh, <laughs> they have blaster pistols and they're firing. Uh, they're right in front of the um, that access hatch you guys came out of. The one that you guys kind of made your way through this giant power tube. You guys remember that? Yeah. Um, I shouldn't have touched that. It was working. Yeah. <laughs> it's back. All right, so this giant power tube, you guys came out off the side. They're like, they were looking down at this like hatch that came off, and then you guys came around the corner. There they are. We have the uh, the interlopers down here. They're, they're on sector sex 7B. Right. So you guys are Shit. against the corner. What would you guys be doing? Um, I'm going to barrel through them. How many are there? Three of them. Okay, I'm gonna definitely barrel through them and engage. Um, gonna put on my combat glasses. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, real quick, David, I have a question because I took physical training and it says add and it's a colored in square per okay. rank of physical That's a boost training. die. Oh, it's a boost die. Okay, I didn't know what it was. Okay, great. Um, okay, great. Um, right, and so uh, I should point out that you guys both feel pretty intense sense of urgency right now. Yep. Yep. Do you guys remember why? Yes, because, oh yes, Merce believes, and, and I think so does Dak, that Tamaya, they, they saw that there was a prisoner procession happening uh, where a prisoner was being taken to execution, mm -hmm. and they believe uh, it's Tamaya because Tamaya was not in her cell, which uh, they, they found out through uh, hacking into a computer. Mm -hmm. That's right, but based on the information you guys were able to uh, get right before you set all the alarms off on the entire prison level, whoops, Ooh. looks like Tamaya is slated for execution within a matter of minutes on yeah. a level thousands of feet above you, or hundreds of feet at least. Yeah. Above us. Oh. Oh. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to barrel through. Right there. Yeah. Right. Okay, so there's three of them there. Charge. Okay, they're shooting at you right now, but I, that sounds good. Yeah, it's not. <clears throat> and no what time. are you going to do, sir? I'm going to yeah. uh, shoot the one that's furthest away from Merce. Great. Great. Yeah, I'll, I'll favor one side. To I'm also uh, committing my, my one force die to enhancing my agility. Uh, You're doing force no, unfortunately, I think uh, it's not a floating force die. So it, you, it has to, it's whatever it was when you took it, it has to be stuck on that one? No, no, I mean, it, is, it, it, it sticks to my agility now until I turn it off. Okay. I can't use my other force powers. All right, we'll check, I'll check on that later, but that yeah. sounds And then fine. how do I use my force? Yours is influence. It's influence. So yours is to make people believe things that uh, are true that are not true. For example, okay. these are not the droids you're looking for. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, you did a number on the uh, assistant warden. That's true. Yeah. Uh, great. I probably will Guys, try to influence them as I'm running. Please roll your uh, cool, as you guys have just been ambushed, Fine. and see who gets to go first in this little encounter. Folks, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Saving Throw Live. This is going to be our first episode of an actual campaign. No more one-shots. Oh, thank God. 